Alright guys, so I went and got this uh, CPU cooler right here. It's uh, H100i uh, version 2 from Corsair. And I went and installed it. I went and did the whole rebuild on my computer. I had to take take out the uh, tray that holds the CPU and stuff in place, which I'll, I'll mess with that later. But the problem that I ran into is my CPU, the the pump, I mean everything works, everything's hooked up properly. But the problem I have, it's not cooling as it should. It's not cooling at all, actually. And the problem that I've seen here is that the uh, bracket is actually uh, loose. I went on Corsair's website and they said that that's completely fine, but I, I don't see uh, how that's fine. So I went to the local hardware store and I bought some washers. I bought some rubber washers. I didn't want to use the metal ones because there's, I don't want to damage the motherboard or anything like that. So, and I bought some of these plastic ones. Uh, the plastic ones are hard, but the uh, these are actually rubber, so these bend. So I'm gonna put it in the back, try to space, so that way you don't have any movement. So when you actually hook up this in there, it would actually uh, be tight. So we'll see if that works and um, hopefully that fixes my problem guys this is the back plate right here let me zoom out some you can see how loose that thing is and it should be tight so I'm surprised that Corsair did not put any uh, washers or spacers or anything like that to make that tight so but I'll go ahead and put my own in, in there see if that makes a difference Here's a better angle of how much trouble I have. See that? That should not be happening right there. So, if I have it like this, that's how much trouble I have between the CPU and the actual cooler. Alright, so I had to take away some fans and the graphics card just to get in there. And now I'm not going to take out the motherboard. What I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to take couple of those screws and just get the motherboard to slightly move I just need to move maybe a quarter of an inch maybe half an inch and then I can just slide in the washers put everything back in instead of taking out the whole thing is the first time I'm not doing all that I right, saw so loosen up just one side and I'm just gonna bend it a little bit you can see it moving gotta be real careful because there's a lot of there's a lot there's a lot of room for error here so you have to be real gentle with it so what I'm gonna do next since this case doesn't really have a big opening in the back some of them actually do have but this one doesn't you can see how this just comes out so what I'm gonna do is slice some washers in I gotta figure out the size I need first and put it back in screw everything together and be good to go Alright, so here's the bracket, and these are the washers I bought. You can see. Alright, so I have about a couple of millimeters, maybe about an eighth of an inch worth of, and I'm thinking that's the uh, thickness of a motherboard. Now, it's actually motherboard is not quite that thick still I can still add some of these washers or I can put another rubber in there I just don't wanna you see there's not a I'm gonna see if I can put another rubber in there cuz I can compress the rubber alright guys so I've installed the washers and as you can see I do have a little bit of trouble but it's under a millimeter it's not really uh, much and it's only on the upper left corner for some reason uh, the rest of it is actually pretty snug and uh, this is what I used I went to Lowe's and got the part it's a uh, 532 washer and it's 1 16th tick so um, we'll find out if that works or not and you can see right here that there is no movement on those so what I'm gonna do next is uh, reapply thermal paste 
uh, plug everything back up as it should and um, see if that fixes my uh, issue. Alright, well I have pretty much everything ready to go. I'm going to apply uh, the Arctic Silver 5 thermal paste and um, hook everything back up. Alright, well I'll put thermal paste and um, just going to put it in a circle. I mean it doesn't honestly make it too much of a difference whether you go cross, do whatever, any kind of designs, uh, as long as you don't put too little or too much and I've gone low on the heavy side but um, they say to find one of these transistors and try to make that size as far as thermal paste you want to do but um, we'll see how this works alright okay, guys so I'm tightening down the uh, CPU cooler and you want to go in a crisscross formation because you want that spread of that thermal paste even. You don't want it heavy on one side and none on the other. You want it to spread out evenly. Okay, so I have uh, put my solid state drive on top of my power supply. It's actually velcroed down, so it's not going anywhere. I also velcroed my hard drive, and uh, there's another hard drive down there, so there's two hard drives and a solid state drive. Uh, I'm looking for another case uh, to expand. This one is actually uh, really small for what I'm wanting to do right now, so I'm looking to see if you guys can recommend me a case because I do plan on water cooling the graphics card as well um, in a in probably next near future. And I just don't have room for, um, I mean, I can make room, but I, I really want to get a comfortable case. Um, this thing does have an extremely good airflow, because when I powered it up earlier, uh, I'm running two fans up here, two fans in the back, and there's a radiator in the middle. And it has a lot of push. I'm running uh, air out that way and then out that way. Uh, the only concern I had was my uh, CPU was getting hot and it was due to this thing being loose. Uh, it's no longer loose anymore. It's actually pretty tight. Hopefully I didn't break anything, but I did hear a little crack whenever I tightened that screw. But hopefully it's just nothing. Okay, so I have everything hooked up. I'm going to power it up, see how everything works. I'm not going to close the front panel off yet, just in case I have to do something else to it. Um, this is uh, the cable management. Not the best, but it's the best I can do with the case for right now with the time I have in my hands. But I'm going to do a little overview on the case. Um, it's a Corsair Spec 1. Uh, I'm using the uh, NZXT fan controller. It controls up to five fans. You got different speeds and stuff you can do. You got the thermostats. Uh, I have two inlet fans right on this side. I don't know if you can see them. They're uh, LED red. And I also have two more fans right here. So there's four fans just in this area. This thing comes off real easily. And you can install fans in there real, real quick. I'm running two fans up there and one fan up there. So I'm running all in all five case fans and then uh, two water block uh, fans and the air is blowing in through here coming out that way and then going up so there's a extremely good airflow in this case um, and then the general specs I got 16 gigs of uh, DDR3 RAM I'm using a uh, Intel Core i5 3750K CPU I got the GTX 1070 um, this is, uh, I'm not sure what brand it is, power supply, I just bought one of the, ch you know, cheaper one, but it's rated 80 platinum. Uh, I got two hard drives, a solid state drive, and, uh, that's pretty much my, my PC right there. Let's go ahead and power this thing on, see what happens. Well, I gotta flip the switch first. And let's see, we have lights. Alright, so this thing does come on. All the fans are spinning and it just turned off. I think it's going to reset. 
because it has to go into bias. Okay. Make sure what we got going on here. It's actually uh, fairly quiet. The only fan I'm hearing right now is that one. Um, make sure there's no cables in the fans. So we're good there. Alright, now there's a huge difference here uh, than before. It's at 28 Celsius, 27. So it looks like the CPU is working as it should, the cooler. Um, before I would actually be at 50 Celsius already, and it would be 50, you know 50, 60, 70, 80, and then when it hit, once it hit 80, I went and shut shut the computer off, and I knew there was something wrong. But right now I have it set on. Let's see, we can do power saving, or we can do. Uh, let's see, this one is quiet. Let's see. That one's a medium, and then we can do high performance. I don't really necessarily think we have to use that. 